Hello, Trinity family. I hope y'all are enjoying your week and doing what you can to stay dry. I can't express enough how excited I am for Holy Week this coming week and then Easter Sunday on April 4th to follow. And I wanted to let y'all know about several opportunities that you will have to observe this most important season of our church calendar with us here at the church. First, on Thursday, April the 1st, we will be holding a Maundy Thursday communion service, and that'll begin at 6.30 p.m. And y'all can dress casual. I understand that some folks are getting off work at around that time, and that's fine. We just want you to come and celebrate the Lord's table with us, the Lord's Supper. The next day, Friday, April the 2nd, we will have a Good Friday Tenebrae service here at the church, and that'll begin at 7.30 p.m. It's supposed to be pretty dark when the service starts. Tenebrae services are meant to be extended and kind of somber reflections on the crucifixion of Jesus. And I'm really excited for what our worship team has put together for that evening, and I think you'll enjoy it too. Finally, on Easter Sunday, April the 4th, we will hold a sunrise service here out in our prayer garden at 7 a.m., followed by a time of fellowship. And then our regularly scheduled worship service will begin at 11 a.m., though it won't be any old worship service. We're doing some things with decoration and with music that will really make Easter Sunday stand out on our calendars. And I'd like to encourage you to join us for as many of these services as you can. I know I'm a pastor and I'm supposed to say those things because I'm going to be here and I want y'all to be here too. But be that as it may, Easter Sunday is, in my view, best celebrated when we have immersed ourselves in the entire story of Jesus' passion and death and resurrection. On Thursday, we take our seat with him and his disciples, receiving from Jesus the meal that Christians across the world have continued to celebrate ever since. And then on Friday, we stand at the foot of the cross, looking upon our Lord now crucified, and we depart from there in silence, indicating our sorrow over the death of our Messiah. But early on Sunday morning, we join the women at the tomb of Jesus, with the stone rolled away, the body of Jesus missing, and we join in the mysterious and yet glorious proclamation of the messengers of God saying, He is not here, but He is risen. And then at 11 o'clock, we say with our brothers and sisters in Christ, He has risen indeed. This will be a special few days in the life of our church, and I hope, I hope that you'll make it a point to join us.